Right, and a deadly officer involved shooting in Stanley County where deputies say a trooper and one of their own were forced to fire at a man who was shooting at them. It happened earlier this morning along Highway 73 just outside of Albemarle. As Queen City News anchor Derek Dellinger found out, neighbors are just as shocked as law enforcement that it happened. Stanley County deputies tell us it was a report of a car in a ditch that led them to an area about 10 minutes from here early Thursday morning. They say they came across a man who was armed and they say without any warning, he fired at a trooper and a deputy. Everything happened just before 2 a.m. Thursday, but the road was closed off most of the day in an area cut off with crime scene tape. Investigators out pacing together and piecing all the rounds out from an apparent shootout. There's a burst of them and a little lull and another burst and it was there's a lot of shooting. It happened behind Gary Krause's home near Highway 73 and Lowell Road, just outside the Albemarle city limits. Deputies say the driver of a car in a ditch was outside walking around when one of their own and a trooper got there. And from there, what was initially believed to be a traffic issue turned into something more. At some point, the driver, the officers found the driver armed confronted him, gave him commands. He refused those commands. The driver was identified as Ghassan Baba. They say as he fired, he missed. The trooper and the sheriff's deputy, they, they're extremely lucky. But the trooper and deputy did not miss. They fired back, Baba dying at the scene. Deputies told us there was a brief shootout, something that was a rude awakening for this quiet neighborhood. Freaked me out a little bit, you know. It was, I could tell it was gunshots. Mm -hmm. And when the second burst came, it was like, oh, crap. The shots were close enough to Krause to the point where he almost ducked for cover, something he never expected in his decades living here. It was kind of a goosebump kind of moment. Deputies say Ghassan Baba lived here in Albemarle, and they say that he was not known to law enforcement. They also say they're still trying to figure out why he shot at the deputy and the trooper. In Stanley County, Derek Dellinger, Queen City News.